happy Tuesday. I hope you're doing well today. So as I mentioned last night, I am reading books this week about creation, and I invited you to share some of your favorite animals on Facebook in the comments if you would like to, and I will see if I have a book about them, and I will try to read about them. And if I don't have a book about that particular animal, then maybe the next time we're together or when the library is open, I can go find a book about what you enjoy hearing about. So our book for tonight is called The Zoo Book. Isn't it cool? Shaped like a zebra. And it is published by Random House and written by Jan Flug. The Zoo Book. There are all kinds of animals in the zoo. The long-necked giraffes are the tallest. The leopard has a spotted coat and shining yellow eyes. There are camels with one hump and camels with two humps. The toucan has a long curved beak. The owl has a short hooked beak. Here is the yak with its long coat of soft, silky hair. Spider monkeys use their tails like extra hands. The chimpanzee can hold things with its hands and feet. The crowned crane has yellow bristles on top of its head. The peacock has a long train of green feathers. There are also baby animals at the zoo. The baby zebra stripes are brown. Later, they will turn black. The baby kangaroo rides in its mother's pouch. The baby panda is learning how to climb a tree. As it gets older, the baby rhinoceros will grow horns. And here is a fuzzy baby elephant. What is your favorite zoo animal? If 
you have a favorite animal that you would like to share, again, you're welcome to have your parents type a message on Facebook and I'll check them and see if I have a book about it. And I do encourage you to let your parents know things that you're really interested in learning about. So it might be bumblebees, it might be construction, learning about building buildings and other things, other structures. Maybe you're really interested in trains or in flowers and trees. Maybe you're interested in outer space and stars and planets. Or maybe you're interested in dinosaurs, animals that don't live on Earth anymore but used to. So during this time that we're at home and we're not going to school like we normally do, it's still important to keep learning and you can learn anytime, anywhere. As you get older, you will see that life is really about learning new things every day. And even when you grow up and you're, you're done going to school and receiving your formal education, you will keep learning new things every day. And so even though you're not in school and not doing the same things that, that you normally do with your education, you can still learn about things that interest you. And this is a great time to learn about stuff that you may not have gotten to learn about in school yet. So try telling your parents or letting me know um, or letting your teacher know something that you want to learn about. And I know that any of us would be glad to help connect you with videos or worksheets or articles, books, things that you could read about that topic. I'm very proud of each of you. You are each incredibly smart, and I love getting to hear you learn about the world around you, the world that God has given us. Let's pray together. God, we thank you for the gift of animals and the gift of learning. We thank you for all the beautiful things that you have made in this world. Help us remember to notice and appreciate and say thank you to you for all the beautiful things that we see with our eyes in the world each day. Thank you for giving us this wonderful gift and help us to learn how to care for the earth in the way that you hope we will. Amen. Have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow.